What's up everyone? Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video about battery balancing and BMSs. So here I have a 14S battery pack in one of those high long cases for an e-bike and I've had this battery for a while and it's gotten pretty far out of balance. A lot of the cells are right now at about 4.1 volts and there are a few cells that are 3.8 and one cell group that's at 3.5 volts. So when your battery pack gets out of balance that much, it uh, prevents you from charging it to the full charge because if you have a BMS, then the highest cell is gonna hit 4.2 volts before any of the other ones do, and then your BMS is gonna cut off charging. So basically you're leaving a lot of capacity on the table when your BMS is out of balance, but not your BMS, your battery. But you might be asking, well, wait a minute, what is a BMS for if not to keep your battery packs balanced? Does a BMS do that? Well, actually, the answer is basically no, because a lot of these cheap BMSs here, like this is a Dolly BMS under here, and I'll explain what this is. A lot of cheap BMSs have a passive balance function where they only start balancing once the cells are towards the top of their range. So if one of the cells is not towards the top of its range, it's not really going to get balancing turned on. And there are limitations to the difference in cells too. So difference in cell voltages. Basically what that means is that your BMS is not going to be very good at all at balancing your cell groups once they're out of balance already. It might be able to handle small differences, but by and large, you shouldn't really think of a BMS as being a balancer. It's really there for protection. Instead of battery management system, it should be called battery protection system because it'll protect your battery, your cells from being overcharged, over discharged, and things like that, which are important. But for balancing purposes, BMS kind of sucks. So what am I doing here? So I basically need to bring this battery to balance. I have to balance all of these cell groups. So in order to do that, I have to individually charge them. So what I did was disconnect the balance port from the BMS. And then I'm basically using these jumper cables to access the individual cell groups. So here that second cell group was at 3.8 volts and I'm simply taking the negative and positive terminals of that cell group and attaching them to this breadboard. Then, you know, I have my negative here on the left, the orange wire is the positive, and I'm just picking up those terminals from this side with more balance leads. The black and white one are obviously ground and they're going to the same thing. One is going to a multimeter and the other end is going to the negative lead of this power supply. And then the same thing for the positive side. One is going to a multimeter, the other one is going to the positive lead of this power supply. Now this power supply says 4.04 volts, but that's actually not the case. It's kind of, um, it's uh, not so accurate, but that's why I have a multimeter to actually check the accuracy. So right now that cell group is being charged at half an amp and basically if I remove the charging parts, then you can see the actual cell voltage at 3.87 volts, you know, but then once I plug it back in, it's being charged. So the voltage bumps up a little bit. So basically I'm going to charge it individually using a power supply and some breadboard cables. And uh, there are three groups that are below the others. And all I'll do is bring them up to charge with the rest of them and then my battery pack will be balanced. So by doing it this way, this is one way that you can manually balance your ba battery pack if it's out of balance. And of course there are better ways to do this and I'm gonna make some videos about this later. But I just wanted to make this quick video to show this one particular technique to balance your battery pack. 